Greetings, fellow brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome to our channel. Today's video will contain an important message from Father Gabriel Amorth, the Vatican's former chief exorcist. The message carries significant importance, and we strongly encourage the viewers to watch it until the end to ensure they do not miss any relevant information. If you find the message of this video useful, may you not forget to like the video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Now, let us pray. God our Father, I believe that out of your infinite love you have created me. In a thousand ways I have shunned your love. I repent of each and every one of my sins. Please forgive me. Thank you for sending your Son to die for me, to save me from eternal death. I choose this day to enter into a covenant with you and to place Jesus at the center of my heart. I surrender to him as Lord over my whole life. I ask you now to flood my soul with the gift of the Holy Spirit so that my life may be transformed. Give me the grace and courage to live as a disciple in your church for the rest of my days. In Jesus' name, I pray Amen. Father Gabriel Amorth, who for years was the Vatican's chief exorcist and claims to have cleansed hundreds of people of evil spirits, said yoga is satanic because it leads to a worship of Hinduism and all Eastern religions are based on a false belief in reincarnation. Reading J.K. Rowling's Harry Potter books is no less dangerous, said the 86-year-old priest, who is the honorary president for life of the International Association of Exorcists, which he founded in 1990, and whose favorite film is the 1973 horror classic, The Exorcist. The Harry Potter books, which have sold millions of copies worldwide, seem innocuous but in fact encourage children to believe in black magic and wizardry, Father Amorth said. Practicing yoga is satanic, it leads to evil just like reading Harry Potter, he told a film festival in Umbria this week, where he was invited to introduce The Right, a film about exorcism starring Sir Anthony Hopkins as a Jesuit priest. In Harry Potter the devil acts in a crafty and covert manner, under the guise of extraordinary powers, magic spells, and curses, said the priest, who in 1986 was appointed the chief exorcist for the Diocese of Rome. Satan is always hidden and what he most wants is for us not to believe in his existence. He studies every one of us and our tendencies towards good and evil, and then he offers temptations. Science was incapable of explaining evil, said Father Amorth, who has written two books on his experiences as an exorcist. It's not worth a jot. The scientist simply explores what God has already created. His views may seem extreme, but in fact reflect previous warnings by Pope Benedict XVI, when as Cardinal Joseph Ratzinger he was the head of the Congregation for the Doctrine of the Faith, the Vatican's enforcer of doctrinal orthodoxy. In 1999, six years before he succeeded John Paul II as Pope, he issued a document which warned Roman Catholics of the dangers of yoga, Zen, transcendental meditation, and other Eastern practices. They could degenerate into a cult of the body that debases Christian prayer, the document said. Yoga poses could create a feeling of well-being in the body but it was erroneous to confuse that with the authentic consolations of the Holy Spirit, the document said. According to Father Gabriella Morth, Satan is always hidden and what he most wants is for people not to believe in his existence. He argued that the devil acts in a crafty and covert manner in Harry Potter, under the guise of extraordinary powers, magic spells, and curses. Amorthus' views may seem extreme, but they reflect previous warnings by Pope Benedict XVI, who, 
as Cardinal Joseph Ratzinger issued a document in 1999 warning Roman Catholics of the dangers of yoga, Zen, transcendental meditation, and other Eastern practices. The document argued that these practices could degenerate into a cult of the body that debases Christian prayer. While Amorthas' views may seem controversial to some, his beliefs are not unique, and his opinions are shared by others in the Catholic Church. However, it is important to note that not all Catholics agree with Amorthas' views on yoga and Harry Potter. Many Catholics practice yoga and find it to be a beneficial form of exercise and spiritual practice. They do not view it as being inherently satanic. Similarly, many Catholics enjoy reading the Harry Potter books and see them as harmless entertainment that encourages creativity and imagination. While it is understandable that the Catholic Church would want to warn its followers about practices that it perceives as harmful, it is important to remember that individuals have the right to make their own choices about what they choose to believe and how they choose to practice their faith. The Church's role is to provide guidance and support, not to dictate every aspect of people's lives. In conclusion, Father Gabriel Amorthas views on yoga and Harry Potter may seem extreme, but they reflect the Catholic Church's concern about the potential harm that these practices could pose to the faithful. Father Gabriel Amorth was an Italian Catholic priest and exorcist of the Diocese of Rome who claimed to have performed tens of thousands of exorcisms throughout his life. Amorth, along with five other priests, founded the International Association of Exorcists. Father Gabriel Amorth was internationally recognized as the world's greatest exorcist. His mission of expelling the devil through incessant dedication has earned the gratitude of thousands of believers and the esteem of the most important authorities of the Catholic Church. He has written various successful works and has a very popular radio program on Radio Maria in Rome. The priest passed away in Rome on September 16, 2016. Let us pray for his soul. O Lord, we pray thee that the soul of thy priest, thy servant Father Gabriel Amorth, which, while he abode in this world, thou didst adorn with sacred gifts, may ever rejoice in a glorious place in heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, as we come to the end of the message from Father Gabriel Amorth, let us make sure to express gratitude to him for this message by leaving comments in the comment section. If you find the message of this video useful, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share this message with others so that it may reach those who are in need of salvation. May God bless each and every one of you, and we hope to see you again in our next video.